Well, my name is Derek Belch. I am the founder and CEO of Striver. Striver was founded in 2015, uh, early January to be precise, and it came on the heels of me working as a football coach at Stanford University for two years. And while I was coaching, I was doing a master's thesis uh, to come up with a way to train football players using virtual reality. And the project was so successful academically that the head coach of Stanford, David Shaw, actually sat me down and basically kicked me out of the office and said, hey, what you have is really good. You're probably one to two years ahead of anybody else. This is the future of how players and people are going to prepare to do their jobs. Uh, if I were you, I, I would go start a company. So I kind of, I thought about it for a while and decided to take him up on uh, that advice. And, you know, weeks later, Striver was born. So for the first, almost the first two years, about 18 to 20 months, Striver was working exclusively with NFL and college football teams and, and a few other sports here and there. Uh, in the summer of 2016, we were approached fairly fortuitously by Walmart. Uh, and, and I was called by a, a director of innovation there and he said, hey, I've, I've heard about you guys, I've seen what you do in sports and I'd love for you to come down to Bentonville and show us what this could be like for employee training. And you know, I always had had a vision that this could, the, could be bigger than sports and you know, VR is not really new. Uh, it's been around for decades, just in more crude, uh, different forms than it is today. So thinking bigger picture, it was like, okay, this could be something interesting. And, and as soon as I went down there and started talking to Walmart about the problems they faced with training their workforce, it was very similar to football. Uh, so the light bulb went off right away and I was like, oh my God, this, this, this could be big and this could be big really quickly. And that, that's how we ended up getting into the enterprise. I think the bottom line is, you know, the way we prepare employees today in corporate America is outdated. Uh, it's time to reinvent performance. It's on executives and leaders and managers to rethink how they train their workforce because people are what get jobs done and uh, successfully prepared people is what ultimately leads to better performing businesses. The modern learner, the modern employee expects more in today's day and age. Uh, I would say the power dynamics have shifted quite a bit and now the employee is really in charge of, of their performance in the workplace within the framework of the organization. Uh, they expect more, it, it's more challenging to keep today's employee engaged. Uh, the way we retain information has evolved over time and people are starting to realize the science of how we learn and retain and act on that information. At Striver, when we think about use cases that are a good fit for virtual reality, we first think about what are the high stakes, high reward things in a workforce as it relates to where virtual reality would be really effective. So health and safety, certainly a, a big area of need for organizations of all shapes and sizes and different types. Operational excellence, operational efficiency, uh, if the business runs better and performs better, we're gonna see a lot of ROI there. Interpersonal skills, one of the biggest challenges in today's day and age. VR can be a really awesome fit here. Uh, and lastly, customer service. Uh, the customer is the lifeblood of any business, uh, especially as we're seeing a transition from more uh, people, brick and mortar businesses to online businesses today. Customer service is of the utmost importance and VR can be a really, really good fit there. So one of the unique things about Striver, what we would call one of our competitive advantages is the fact that we are an end-to-end -end solution. Uh, virtual reality has gone mainstream, this is happening. However, there are still a lot of moving pieces and there's a lot of things that are involved to make this successful for an organization. Uh, to do this at scale across hundreds of thousands of employees, dozens to hundreds to thousands of locations, and all of the things that it takes for you to be successful as a customer from the solution design, the alignment of learning objectives, the content production, the deployment, the tech support, the data and analytics, right? This is a really, really long value chain. We like to call it the end-to-end -end solution. Uh, we feel very strongly that this is the way to win in virtual reality. This is the way to make the customer successful. Uh, and it is the cornerstone of Strivers Business, doing this thing from beginning to end and making sure we set you up for success. You know, one of the questions we get asked all the time is, does it work? Uh, and, and we feel that's a very fair question. This is, this is happening. VR has gone mainstream, but there's still a lot of exper experimental elements to it. It's still new technology. It's very foreign to people. Uh, unequivocally, this works. 
The science says it works. The feedback from learners says it works. They're engaged, they're happy, they're retaining more. And the fact that some of the largest corporations in the world are doing this at scale, and they have run their own independent studies to measure the effectiveness of whether or not this is a viable tool for their business, this works. So make no mistake about it, there's still a long way to go. You know, we're probably in the bottom of the first as it relates to the, what VR is gonna be over time, but this works and this is something that people can confidently deploy throughout their organization. The data we've collected thus far over the last few years at Striver has really shown a measurable impact as it relates to learning and retention and what we would call learning ROI for an organization. Uh, we are now taking a lot of this, this data, this information, the trade secrets we've, we've amassed at Striver, and we're now transitioning to what we're calling business ROI. All right, what can more effective learning, more effective, en effective engagement, more effective performance, what business impact can that have on your bottom line? And how can we really lean into those business objectives versus just focusing on a better learning tool, something that we're really excited about at Striver.